Hello friends, this is a 2009 Dodge Caliber. We're gonna be showing you how, where's the O2 sensors and the crankshaft position sensor located, okay? Remember to hit that subscribe button below so that we can keep on making these videos, all right? Okay, so in order to find your uh, O2 sensors, uh, you gotta come, you know, from underneath the car and you can see the, the, here are you, two O2 sensors, all right? So you got the bank one sensor one and bank one sensor two, all right? Uh, so this one is the one that controls the uh, fuel for the, from the PCM, from the computer. And this one that's located on the catalytic converter, it's for emissions, all right? It controls, you know, la, it, the one that uh, evaluates how, how are the emissions in the car. Okay, if you, if you are to replace one of these O2 sensors. Remember, you just have to, you know, follow the wires on the O2 sensors and just uh, disconnect the connectors and use a 7 8 wrench or a, or a O2 sensor socket to break them loose. Once once you break them loose, you know, they come they come out really easy. Okay, this one you can get it from the bottom, but the the one for the fuel, the fuel control one, uh, I think you can get easy access to this one from the top okay so just, you just open the hood and it's right there behind the engine all right so that's those two right there now the crankshaft position sensor is gonna be right behind you know this is their drive the drive shaft you see this uh, shield right here okay so this shield is actually protecting the crankshaft position sensor and it's gonna have two bolts it's one 10 millimeter bolt right here and then back here there is a 13 millimeter bolt so you take those two bolts out put move this shield aside and there is your there's gonna be your connector just disconnected and there is your your crankshaft position sensor also the crankshaft position sensor is being holded into the block by one 10 millimeter bolt, okay? You take that 10 millimeter bolt, and it's really easy. Once you take, get that 10 millimeter bolt, you just pull it out, put the new one, reverse process, and there you have it, okay? All right, friends, thank you for watching this video. And please, if you, if you like it, or it helped you somehow, give us some likes. Remember, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time, okay?